Federal judges Monday will decide whether Alabama's new congressional map can stand or whether it violates the Voting Rights Act and needs to be redrawn. News 19 State Capitol reporter Maddie Beer Temple previews that hearing and some of the arguments from both sides. The Supreme Court affirmed a lower court ruling that said any remedial map will need to have two majority black districts or quote something quite close to it. Lawmakers passed a map with 51% black voting age population in District 7 and 40% in District 2. The previous map had 55% black voting age population in District 7 and 30% in District 2. They did not comply with the Supreme Court's order. Democratic State Representative Prince Chestnut says he expects the Republican approved map to be struck down. The majority, supermajority, just literally ignored that and decided to do what was convenient to uh, continue to have one party rule. In a brief submitted by the Attorney General's office, the state argues the map follows redistricting principles and keeps together communities of interest in the Gulf and Wiregrass. It says the plaintiffs proposed maps violate redistricting principles in favor of race and says, quote, such affirmative action in redistricting would be unconstitutional. I think the courts are going to laugh at that. Political analyst Steve Flowers doesn't think the court will accept that argument. He says this ruling will have widespread implications. North Carolina, Georgia and Texas have malapportioned districts that, that corner certain partisan groups into pockets. Now this map passed along party lines during the special session held last month and the hearing for this will be held Monday morning at the Hugo Black Courthouse in Birmingham. Reporting in Montgomery, Maddie Beer Temple, News 19.